Is it too early to say that this is the largest breach of 2025? This story and more on ThreatWire. Last week, I reported on how Shiny Hunters was using vulnerable Salesforce integrations to lead to data breaches of large companies. There appears to be a continuation into the abuse of Salesforce integrations. On August 26th, Mandiant via Google reported a new breach of Salesforce using the SalesLoft Drift integration. SalesLoft is a third-party company that creates the Drift AI chat agent to create better sales conversations and higher quality leads. Unlike the social engineering attack that Shiny Hunters used to gain access described in last week's episodes, this threat actor, attributed to be UNC6395, used compromised OAuth tokens for the email integration of the product to gain access. Based on new information identified by Google Threat Intelligence Group, the scope of this compromise is not exclusive to the Salesforce integration with SalesLoft Drift and impacts other integrations. We now advise all SalesLoft Drift customers to treat any and all authentication tokens stored in or connected to the Drift platform as potentially compromised. Researchers at Obsidian Security are calling this the largest SaaS breach of 2025 and that it is, quote, 10 times more damaging as it affects more companies than traditional credential-based breaches. What would you do if your ransomware was evolving in real time? In research published by the team at ESET, this is basically what's happening. They discovered what they are calling the first ever AI-powered ransomware. The malware, named PromptLock, has not yet been found in practical attack application, but is discovered as a proof of concept uploaded to tools like VirusTotal. It has the ability to exfiltrate and encrypt data and uses AI to generate Lua scripts dynamically to do so. The ransomware is written in Golang and exists on both Windows and Linux variants. On the AI side, it utilizes the GPT OSS 20B model from OpenAI locally via the Olama API. This research coincides with a new report from the team at Anthropic about the state of security and how AI has been used by cyber criminals. The security team at Anthropic recently had to thwart several cybersecurity attacks that were using Anthropic tooling. They found that attackers were using Claude in several ways. First, they found that it was being used to write ransomware and that ransomware is being sold on the darknet. They also found that one threat actor group was using Claude to automate the entire ransomware process from recon, credential theft, to even writing the ransomware notes. This one group was apparently sending demands for as high as half a million dollars. The Anthropic team has published a large list of findings and misuses of their technology and about the steps that they're taking to prevent it in the future. The evolution of AI and cybersecurity is moving at a rapid pace, as now less technical people are able to overcome their non-technical barriers and act quicker than ever to execute cybercrime. Thank you so much for watching ThreatWire for the week of September 1st, 2025. If you enjoyed this show, please head over to patreon.com slash ThreatWire. Last week, I asked your thoughts on the concept of hacking back. I got this great reply from Meh7539, and they said the following, I think the marquee and reprisal system is only going to make things worse for us in the long run. I think time, and more importantly, a lot, lot, lot of money would be better spent paying for more software developers to go fix the bugs we've already got, testers to find the devices with the bugs, and boots on the ground to update or fix the problems. We should be focusing on maintaining and upgrading the infrastructure we've got to make us all such a significantly difficult target that it's not just worth the time. The problem is that no one wants to invest that amount of money. And I totally agree. A huge issue that I found with talking with my friends in the cybersecurity space is that we aren't investing as much money as we need into better infrastructure. In addition, AI is causing cybersecurity to move at such a rapid pace that people aren't learning security basics. Finally, I also got my DEF CON vlog up, which I've linked down below. So if you want to check it out, please, please, please be sure to go and watch it. 
If you want to find me everywhere online, you can find me at Ending with Allie. And I'm Allie Diamond. Good luck, have fun, and don't get caught. <laughs>